you cannot say the Quran has been perfectly preserved. If a man who came 20 years after Muhammad died, standardized it and destroyed all you things he did. What? The different Quranic manuscripts into no, what he considered no, no, to be no, the no, Quran. No, no, no. So the, it is possible that there were Sahaba that did memorize abrogated surahs, abrogated recitation. There's no problem at all. What I'm saying possible. is they but themselves thought it should have been in the Quran. Where does it say? It doesn't say that. Because they argued about it. No. Yeah. So when they were reading it in places like Iran, in places like Pakistan, all of those conversations, they were reciting it wrong. Exactly. Right, so yeah. they were saying different things. No, they were reciting it wrong. Is that yes or no? Like, tell me. Uh, yes, he did. Okay, great, great. Okay, Ubayyim bin Kaab had 116 surahs in his codex. Uthman standardized the Quran in 652 after Muhammad died with 114 surahs. Who was right? Would you like to have a debate? About what, Chris? Um, so, we can contrast New Testament with the Quran in terms of reliability. Yeah, because I know that you're familiar with that. Sure. Okay, sound good? Am I right to make my opening Sounds point? Good. Good. Yep. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> we know from Quran, from, from your hadith traditions, that there were reciters of the Quran who were considered master reciters of the Quran by Muhammad himself. Okay. Yep. And those are Ubay ibn Kab. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, Ubay ibn Kab was one of them. And okay. Another one was Abdullah ibn Masud, and there were two others as well, I believe, right? Muhammad said that these were people that you could learn to recite the Quran from, because they were knowledgeable in the Quran. So we know from Sahih Hadith, in Sahih al-Bukhari, for example, that there were disagreements among the codexes of Abdullah ibn Masud and Ubay ibn Kab after Muhammad's death, and they were arguing about what was meant to be in the Quran and what was not meant to be in the Quran. So, for example, in Ubay ibn Kab, his codex had 116 surahs. But Abdullah ibn Masud only had 110 surahs. They were also ordered differently. And even within certain surahs, some of them had differences about what certain verses should have been. So for example, Ubay ibn Kab had a... Had a actually, you know, I'll mention that a bit later. But clearly there are differences in these two codexes. Now, we know that something cannot be perfectly preserved, which I think you believe about the Quran. It's perfectly preserved, letter by letter, dot by dot, sound by... Well, maybe not sound by sound, because you think there's different Quran. But ultimately, it's perfectly preserved, yeah? Okay. okay. How can the Quran be perfectly preserved if the earliest and most reliable translators of the Quran, those who had learnt many surahs off by heart, Abdullah ibn Masud said he had learnt 70 surahs off by heart, when they disagreed about what the Quran should be? Do you know what? The Quran that we go by, we go by the Uthmanic script, correct? Yes. Okay. The Ubay bin Ka'ab, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, did they say that the surahs that they memorized has been abrogated? How do you mean by that? Is it like they no longer apply? Yeah, it's been no, abrogated. No, they, they, they believe they, they should have been still in the Quran. No, they didn't say that. They said yes, they did. They no. say it's been abrogated. No, it was a later idea that they had been, no. but Abdullah ibn Masood completely disagreed what no, Uthman no, no, was no, no. doing. The Quran that you have today, we mm. go by the Uthmanic script. Yes, okay. and that's because... So, so right. wherever, the, wherever the collection you get from other than Uthmanic script, yep. even Ubay bin Ka'ab, as yep. well as Abdullah, Abdullah ibn Masood, even yep. said, these surahs have been abrogated. Mm. Do you really think mm. that the do you really think that the, right. the, the abrogation is only from from the Quran? No, there has been abrogation that's not even included in the Quran. For example, the stone, um, for example, the breastfeeding. Yeah, and the verse of stoning, exactly. right? Exactly. But, so but again, but what I'm saying to you though is that there are people who disagreed and thought that it should have been in the Quran. Who said this disagreement? We okay, going by no, the no, no, Abdullah, no, Abdullah ibn Masud. He disagreed with what Uthman did when he only took certain parts of what he was saying and rejected others. No, but Abdullah ibn Masood said that the surah that he has, mm. has been abrogated. Yes, yes, after this has happened. In other words, he, he put up a fight to say, no, you need to include what I'm saying. I memorized over 70 surahs of the Quran from the Prophet. I, am, I was said to be one of the greatest reciters of the Quran. Yeah. You're not taking what, I, does all, what I'm saying. Does that, does that, does that mm. necessarily mean that it's yeah. not been abrogated? It has been abrogated. Wait, wait, but why would he argue about it if he already know, thought you do, it was you abrogated? Do you know the Sahaba, you do yeah. know the companions memorize yeah. surahs yeah, yeah. that has been abrogated. Yes, but yeah. they didn't believe that when the Uthmanic script you was being it's not believe it. if we're because saying, Abdu it, they themselves said no. that they, they, you know, they, they recorded in their own uh, no, authentic they said hadith. It's been abrogated. They said no. They later, said, later they did. No, 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 no. They said it's been abrogated. Later. Okay, where do we get where do we okay, get okay. Our authorization uh, okay. from? Okay, the abrogation we get from the Prophet. 
Okay. The Prophet says, right. Right. But the Prophet had died at this point. No, no, the Prophet had died at this point. Listen to me. Right. It doesn't matter if Abdullah bin Mas'ud or Ray bin Ka'af, how many surahs they. They memorized even the abrogated verses. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean it should be in the Quran. No, no, no. Right. No, they disagreed about what should be in the Quran and what shouldn't. No, they. Where'd you get that? Okay, no, Ubay Ibn Khan said there should be 116 surahs in the Quran. Abdullah Ibn Masud said 110. Where does it say that? Because in his codex, that's how many he we're had. Saying, we're saying the codex that Ubay Ibn Ka'ab, which yes, they thought was correct. Quran. It's possible, yes, it's correct. Right, okay, no, so they disagree. No, I'm saying it's possible yeah. that Ubay Ibn Abdullah had 116 surahs, yeah. right? But some of these surahs have been abrogated. Right. What I'm saying so though is the they dis they, the Uthmanic script was a consensus trying to figure out what to do with the fact that they no, all disagreed. No, there was no consensus about what, what surah should be included. Okay, what did the Uthman, prophet, what did Uthman wait, do with the, the Quran? The Prophet right. Sallam, in his lifetime, mm. Jibra'il alayhi salam recited the whole Quran to him. Mm. And the Prophet Sallam then, then affirmed mm. what's been abrogated, what's not. So it doesn't matter if Ubay bin Ka'ab memorized 70 or 116 surahs, it doesn't matter because we have the Prophet Sassan telling us what's been abrogated. Wait, 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 but where did they get that from? They got it from the Prophet. I, I don't disagree no, no, with that. Right, okay, so, so they heard different things from the Chris, Prophet and they disagreed about it. I don't disagree with that, Chris. Okay. Where did cool. I say, where did I say right, that? Right, so you agree with me then that they disagreed about what should be in the no, Quran? No, no, not disagreed. I'm saying it's possible that they memorized certain ayahs, certain surahs that wasn't abrogated then until the Prophet Sallam authorized this is abrogated. Absolutely. But no, no they argued after the death of the Prophet. No, they didn't. Yes. No, they didn't. No, no, this no, is didn't. this is after this is after Abu Bakr's um Zay bin Tabit when he had compiled the first when, one in 634. When, when, when this was, is after that. When, okay. When Muhammad was, died in 632. Okay, fine. Right, fine. so they're arguing after Muhammad had died, no, saying that I heard they, the Prophet they, they say this and this and this. They didn't argue about that. It's in your authentic hadith. There is no argument about what should be included or not. That's an absolute lie, with all due okay. respect. All right, I'm going to find a hadith absolute, where it talks about that's that. That's an absolute then. lie, with all due respect. Obe, I've got no problem at all. There are some Sahaba that did memorize verses and surah that's been abrogated. I don't deny that. But at the end of the day, the Prophet Sallam, he told us what's been abrogated, what's not. So we're only going by the Usmanic codes. In okay. fact, you've even discussed mm. with Mansur and Hashim. Mm. So I don't know why you've discussed with me. I haven't discussed this with Hashim. They're the best people to talk about this. Oh, well, that's fine. So, well, maybe I'll we'll so have a chat with them. Well, okay, but, but can I just say this? Because you've just said this isn't true. I'm going to read <coughs> Surah Al Bukhari 4987. Yes. And <laughs> it says this <coughs> Narrated Anas bin Malik. Hudaifa bin al Yaman, forgive my Arabic pronunciation, came to Uthman at the time of the people of Sham, and the people of Iraq were waging war to conquer Armenia and Abijayan. Hudaifa was afraid of, of the, the people of Sham and Iraq, differences in the recitation of the Quran. So he said to Uthman, O chief of the believers, save this nation before they differ about the book, the Quran, as Jews and the Christians did before. That sounds like the pretty big differences. Did it happen? Well, no, no, I'm not saying it happened. I'm saying that, wait, wait, I'm saying they argued about it. So just because they feared about something doesn't mean it happened, Because they were arguing about it. He noticed two he, different recitations. You know, you know what's the context? The context was yeah. there was a war. Yes. Right. Yeah. That war, of north, was outside of Uthmas, Arabia. They were, the, they were the scared of the Uthmas dying. Mm -hmm. Did it necessarily mean that there were different recitations? That doesn't necessarily mean Well, yeah, the works. It says there were different recitations. No, it's a fear. It didn't happen. No, no, no. Listen, listen. <laughs> Some of the people who were at da da. Uh, Do you know what, Chris? We've all just He was afraid of their differences in their recitation afraid, of the Quran. Afraid, afraid, of afraid, their what? Afraid. Of their. Of different recitation. Did it happen? Did it happen? If, if I tell you I'm afraid of tomorrow, like, it, it means that I'm, I'm believing that, mean, that, that I'm believing that thing is real, right? Do you think that? Do you, yeah, but does if, that if I'm happen? afraid of something, then I am asserting that it, it is the case. Reality? Oh, sorry. Did it happen in reality? Is that your thing? Hi, man. Oh, God bless, man. All the best. Sorry, mate. Where's, where's what? Uh, I don't know. Bob was around here, but I think he's moved. Uh, JC's around somewhere. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll catch you up here. Chris, Sorry about because, that. Just because something you're afraid of doesn't necessarily mean it happened. Yeah, but if I say I'm afraid, so if I said to you I'm afraid of the differences in the Bible, am I implying the differences in the Bible? No, you don't. Unless it's real, unless... Come on, man. That's, unless that's not true. No, no, you'll be... With all due respect, Chris, mm. there is no evidence yeah. in, that, in that hadith where yeah. it says there's been changes. There is not. 
Well, actually, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. So Uthman sent a message to Hafsa saying, send us the manuscripts of the Quran. This will be the one that was compiled by Abu Bakr so that we may compile the Quran materials in perfect copies. So he's compiling a Quran now and return the manuscripts to you. So there were manuscripts, different wing ones. We know this Ubay ibn Kabat had his, Abdullah ibn Masud had his, right? Okay. Hafsa sent it to Uthman. Uthman then ordered Zaid bin Tabit, Al Zubair, Zaid bin Ayas, and Abdul Rahman bin Hayith bin Hisham, who and Abdul Rahman bin Harith. I'm not going to repeat all this. Rewrite the manuscripts in perfect copies. So they're rewriting the Quran in perfect copies. Uthman said to the three Qurayshi men, in case you disagree with Zayyid bin Tabit on any point of the Quran, then write it in the dialect of the Quraysh. Wait, why would they disagree? Oh, okay, I see what you mean now. What? They're not disagree. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. It they're says... Not, they're not dis you do know there are, there, are, there are different dialects. Right, and they're arguing about it. Are there differences? Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, wait, wait. I'm asking you the question. Are oh, there seven haruf? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Does, okay. that, mean, does okay. that mean they're different Qurans? Does that mean they're different Qurans? Well, people seem to think no, that. No, 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 I'm asking you. The companions seem to think that. No, no, no. I'm asking you, did right. the Prophet Sallallahu yep. did he permit the reading of seven different Ahruf? According to your traditions, yes. Yes. They thank argued you very about what they thank, were. Thank you very they much. argued about what so, they were, so they were much. compiled so, into one. Thank you very much. So right? it's not different Qur'ans, it's different. But they're arguing there's about a, them. That's not different Qur'ans. That, <laughs> Come on, man. Do you know what? <laughs> you're dip, it's not talking about different Qur'ans. Of course it is, they're arguing about it. They're, ar they're no, arguing about what is meant to be in the Quran. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's keep reading, man. All right, so where were we? So, perfect copies. Uthman said to the creation men, in case you disagree with Zayb bin Tabit on any point, it looks like he's expecting them to disagree, in the Quran, then write it in the dialect of Quraysh. Okay, the Quran was revealed in their tongue. I thought it was revealed in Seven Aruf, but I agree that other traditions say it was. They did so, and they had written many copies. Uthman returned the original manuscripts to Hafsa. Uthman sent to every Muslim province one copy of what they had copied, and ordered that all the other Quranic materials, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, be burnt. If you're seriously telling me these are different Qurans, then you're totally wrong. It literally says Quranic materials. Do you know the basics of the Arabic language? Why do I need to know that? Why don't I just, why don't I just look at what the companion said? Wait. We don't deny there are seven different readings of the Quran. We're not denying that. Right, yeah, there's Kuriyat the Quran that comes after, yeah? But I'm talking about the Aruf. The Aruf was compiled into the Uthmanic copy. Right. Right. So we destroyed them all. There's different dialects. Yeah, Kuriyat that comes later, yeah. And even even in those dialects, there are differences in words. The Prophet authorized and permitted seven different ways of reciting the Quran. They're not disputing about what needs to be included, what's not. But they, they literally say no, they in this didn't. verse that no, they did. No, no, read it again. You're not, you're not reading. You're not reading. Okay. Uh, Hudaifa was afraid that the people of Sham and Iraq uh, yes. of their differences in the recitation of the Quran. Yes. And then following that, it says, So he said to Uthman, O chief of the believers, save this nation before they differ about the book. Okay. Come on, it's, he's obviously worried that they're who, saying who different they things. About? Who are they talking about? They're talking about the people up north from Iraq and Sham. Right, so not because in the Arabia, they're not, 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 the not in Arabia, no, right. this so, is up north. So it's got nothing to do with the preservation of the Quran, it's about the fear. No, it's about what people are saying about the Quran up north. But, but what's that got to do with the preservation of the Quran? Because they have different ideas about what is in the Quran. No, you're misunderstanding the point. But it says it really clearly, no, man. Chris, Chris, you're not <laughs> yeah. getting the point. We're not talking, this is not talking about the preservation of the Quran. The Quran is already preserved. The people who they find. Then why are they scared? differing about it? Because it's the people of Iraq. Huh? People of Iraq. He's and what are, the they, what, Iraq. what are they reciting? Because, what, exactly. That's what right. he fears. So, that's so what they're reciting saying. things no, differently? No. That means. On. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. That means it, it's afraid. Meaning that the people of Iraq, right, mm -hmm. they're not accustomed to the way how the Quran is recited. This is what he's scared about. He's not scared about these different surahs, different verses. But no. they were different surahs, yeah? No, you're imposing that. No, no, your that. Sahih traditions I've say. I've No, no, uh, I think it's in, in, in uh, Ubay ibn Kab. I know about Ubay ibn Kab. I've right, so you know that's true then. I, did, I, did, I, did I deny that? No, you didn't. Was, you didn't. Did I, did but, but what I'm saying is, what, since we both affirm hang that, on, hang on. then we know there were different Qurans. Can I ask you a question? Sincerely, can I ask you this question? Yeah. The, 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 the Quran that we go with, are we going by the Uthmanic Codex or are we going by Ubay ibn Kab Codex? We were going by the Uthmanic one because Thank Uthman destroyed much. the remaining Thank Quran. So it is possible that there were Sahaba that did memorize 
abrogated solars, abrogated recitation. There's no problem at all. What I'm That's saying possible. is they but themselves thought it should have been in the Quran. Where does it, say? it doesn't say that. Because they argued about it. No, they argued about the different... There's a skill. Okay, okay. Why did Uthman have to compile the Quran? Why did they have to compile it? Why did he have to compile Why did he get all these different sources and compile it and then destroy the ones by, he didn't by include? The way, you know, uh, by the way, the written Quran was in the time of Abu Bakr. Yes, because Abu, okay. Abu Bakr produced the first right. codex. So, so yep. what Usman what Radio Azmi did, yep. he standardized the Quran. Yes, yes, and you exactly. Know, and you know he, a what, man standardized the Quran. Right. In, what, in, what, in what dialect? In the Croatian dialect. What, a what man, is that, is that dialect? it's the tribe of which Muhammad uh, came from what? and that he conquered in 630. Uh, Hafs. Hafs uh, well, no, Hafs comes from the Hafs tradition that comes from uh, so, so that's what Kufa, did. I think. That's what Usman did. He only stand, he standardized one dialect. Yes, and then he destroyed all others. Right, does that mean the Quran is lost? It means large parts of it are, no, yeah. It's not. <laughs> No, no, but but the but the but the greatest no, reciters no, no, no. of the Quran. So what was the, what was the, the reason come on, guys! Come on, guys! Come on, guys! Come on, guys! The greatest well, reciters, the greatest reciters of the Quran, Ubayyim Kab Abdul Ibn Masud. These two, the these two, they disagreed about what should be in the Quran. No. But Uthman said, no, 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 we're not having this. We're having this standardized one in the Croatian dialect. No. All of us are destroyed. Mm. He then sends it out to the big five cities: Mecca, Medina, Basra, Kufa, Damascus. He's talking about the people of Iraq that was not accustomed to the Croatian dialect. That's what he's scared. If they're just if they're just pronouncing it differently, why would they? Care. He's not talking about the preservation of the Quran. The Quran is already preserved. But why is he worrying then? Because people will recite it. Because people are because saying it no, what they no, think is there wrong. Was no, there was no vowel system. I know, I'm aware. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. In, so the written, what, in the written form. That's what Hudayfa was scared. That, yeah. that now you're going to the people of Iraq. Yeah. And perhaps the people of Iraq will not be able to recite the way how it should be recited. It's got nothing to do with. What they would say it wrong. No, but they did have different sorahs. You already knew that. How many sorahs does the Quran have today? 114. How many sorahs did Ubayyam and Kab say there was? So let me ask you this question. Just answer that. Did you I already answered it. 116, I, right? Did I deny that Ubayyam and Kab did have You didn't. Sorahs? So just say it. Right. What I'm saying that is it not possible right. that Ubayyam and Kab did memorize right. certain sorahs, yeah. but then it was abrogated? Right. It's possible, yes. Thank you very much. But that's not his so opinion. That's not Audi. Abdullah ibn Masud's opinion. Oh. They believe that actually they had an authentic Quran that they got from they Muhammad directly themselves Chris, and Chris, to not include it would Abdul be Abdul blasphemy. Masoud, as yeah. well as Ubay bin Kaab even said that what they memorized is abrogated. So it of course they, they would afterwards, wouldn't they? If, if, you, if you met, in a, if you met in, in a council and, and you basically put your argument forward, you're overruled, your religious scripture doesn't get included in canon, then of course you're going to be like, yeah, all right, for the sake of Chris, the Ummah, I'm going to agree and Chris, go, yeah, it was abrogated. Chris, Chris, you're arguing something that doesn't even, that it's not even supporting your argument with all due respect. Because this hadith, Hudayfa bin Yemen, right, is not even talking about the preservation of the Quran. This is not what you're getting. He's scared that the people of Iraq right. may not recite the Quran in the way that it should be recited. Yeah, because it's okay. not, that's not so, correct. So secondly, and <laughs> yeah. about Ubay bin Ka'ab, I'm yeah. going to make this very clear again. It is possible that Ubay bin Ka'ab Sorry. did memorize 116 surahs of the Quran. Right. It's possible, yeah. but that doesn't necessarily it was mean one of the master should recite be in the Quran. The Quran. Because the what? prophet, because the how prophet, can he recite? What was he? Did prophet, he make it up? Because the prophet sallam, right. he had the authority yeah. to abrogate. But this happened so after he died. No, it didn't. Th these arguments happened in the time of Uthman as caliph. First of all, you've already had a discussion with Mansur and Hashim. I've never, I've never talked with. I've never talked. Sorry, I learned, I learned this like a month ago. I I'm pretty sure that's already been referred. No, I, I talked about uh, Quran manuscripts. I talked about Quran Chris, manuscripts. You've already brought this up uh, with, I've, with other Muslims, but not, not uh, Hashim, no. uh, not Mansur. It doesn't it doesn't I'll, I'll happily matter. talk with them. I'll find, all find all me Mansur, and saying, I'll talk to Mansur. I'm saying there are certain Sahaba that did memorize the abrogated verses. What's the problem? They themselves thought it should have been in the Quran. They were overruled by Uthman. Uthman then destroyed their codexes. That's not, that's not how it worked. Right, you, you don't that's, follow the religion of Muhammad, you follow the religion of Uthman. We're going by the Uthmanic Codex. But yes, someone, someone standardized your Quran. Sorry? A man standardized your Quran. Who's the man? Uthman. Right. When Muhammad wasn't even around anymore. Standardize you. Yes, it means you collect the different codexes no. and you decide which ones are correct, no, which ones have been abrogated, which ones haven't been abrogated, and wrong. you go, we we'll go that's with this not, one. That's not what the Uthmanic script was about in the first place. Right, so why did they destroy the remaining the, ones? The, the, no, he standardized one reading of the Quran. Yeah, and he destroyed that's the others. And he destroyed the others. Did, did that, did that, what okay, I just quoted you, you say? Morocco, if you go to Morocco, do yeah. you know what they recite? What the well, was, was, was. was. Are they different Qur'ans? Yes. No, they're not. Yes. No, they're not. yes. This is where you don't understand. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. The, bis, the, bis, the Bismillah, uh, Bismillah, I can't pronounce it, Bismillah. In, in different versions of the Quran, they accept it. Is it a part of the revelation or not? 
So that in and of itself proves they're different Qurans because they some include it and some don't. No, not simple, not simple. So, so you're telling me that's wrong? You're telling me that the, the Walsh Quran does not uh, does not have a different opinion to the Hafs Quran on the Bishmillah? Who, who authorized it? Who authorized the reading of the Walsh? Uh, I, can't remember, okay. I can't remember the Fahal, yeah, but, but, but what I'm saying is yeah, they differ, go, yes? There you go. Salam, he you, you can find different he words. He authorized the Warsh should be recited no. that way. There are the different words. That way, there are different right? words. It's not Come authorized on. by the Sahaba. Right. It's not but, authorized but there are different words. But see, see I'll, grant, I'll grant you some things. I'll say that Hafs is read by 95% of Muslims today. I'll grant you that. That's what Usman but, did. But it was standardized by a guy who came after Muhammad, Prince, after Muhammad had Prince died. Usman, anhu, standardized. Yeah. One in, when did he do Quran, it? When, when did he standardize it? He standardized in his caliph. 652. 652. When okay. did Muhammad die? I don't know the exact, exact uh, date. That, okay. I just know the context. You can say 652 right. so What I'm when saying. When did Muhammad die? In 632. Okay, so that's 20 years after. What's your point? Because after Muhammad died, the, was the best reciters of the Quran disagreed about what was in the Quran, and then Uthman came along and standardized no. it. Muhammad, no. Muhammad never agreed with what your Quran is today. Is pronunciation. No, no, it, no, it isn't. My, my, I'm sorry. To boil it down, my, to boil look, it down mm. it's, a, it's about presentation, no, not content. No, there are different, exactly. words, different words. Show me. There are different words. Show me. <sighs> different words. Show me. Oh, show right. me. Get, let's, get let's, around. Let's show me. me. Okay. Show me. Let's have a look. You know this though. Look, show you me. know this though, because you're an intelligent man. This I know is you your know this. This is opportunity to show me. Show me. I know this. Usman Radanu was not debating what surah should be included, what's not. He standardized one region of the Quran, which is the Hafs. What's the problem with that? Sorry, say it again. Usman Radanu, yeah. he standardized one Qirat, one yes, region. Yes, but all of the others Does that were mean to the be Quran rejected. Is not preserved? No, what he's saying is that all the recitations that people who knew the Prophet, who would have recited from the Prophet, were destroyed. He did that. That's what he says. You have to in the rush. That's yes, that came like, after. That came after. That's, no, 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 no. You're not getting the point. The, There's the a difference prophet, between Aruf and Kilat. You're not getting the point. Mm. The Prophet Sallam, he permitted to be read in seven different ways. Right? Di seven different modes, yeah. Seven and in the Aruf, modes. yes. Right, the Aruf. But they d seven they started to argue. Dialects. Exactly. Do you not seven get the point? No, the Aruf is modes. Dialect. No, he doesn't understand the difference Dialect. between Aruf and Kilat. Ten different Kilat. Yeah, it's ten of a Kira'at, yes. yes it was seven, seven and then it was expanded so to ten. Yeah, Kira'at came after. What I'm saying to you is that Aruf, when it was revealed, yes, from Muhammad, and we know that from Sahih Hadith, it was it prophet. was condensed into the Qurayshi one, and, and uh, Uthman discarded the ones that didn't conform What's to that. What's the problem if it's discarded? He's, he's only my friend, my friend, my friend. He's, he's You're, only standardizing you, okay, one okay. reading. Let, let me explain, let me explain where my argument is. Point. Let me explain where my argument is. You cannot say the Quran has been perfectly preserved if a man who came 20 years after Muhammad died, standardized it and destroyed all things he did. What? The different Quranic manuscripts into no, what he considered no, no, to be no, the no, Quran. No, no, no. I've already answered Come on, man. you that Ubaid Yes, is that true? It's possible Ubaid bin Ka'ab. Possible, did. yep. Sorry, man. Okay, I'll It's possible speak. that Ubaid bin Ka'ab yep. did, did have his own codex did, yep. that was 116 surahs. Yes. No problem. Yep. He probably memorized these abrogated surahs. Right. Who abrogated it? Right, okay. We say the he did not believe abrogated. at the time before it was standardized that it was abrogated. Absolutely wrong. He, why did he we're, have his own codex not, with 116 surahs in it? We're not talking about the content, we're talking about the different readings. That's what Usman Radi Anhu the did. The content is he different. He standardized one region of the Quran, not what surahs needs to be included and what surahs needs no, to be No, 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 he did, he did standardize that. Uthman standardized 114 surahs. That's the surahs you have. No, he didn't standardize 114 surahs, he standardized the region of the Quran. You don't get the point. But there were different codexes, there were different readings, the there were in different amounts of surahs. Oh, mate, mate. It's, it's, it's not about Chris. content, it's, it's not about I, the I, exactly. I, I think you're ignoring Chris. the point, and Chris. I think that's... You are saying that Usman no, Radiyah would standardize the, the Quran. This is in your tradition. By the way, by the way, why do we get, why do we do Mansour? Mansour is more knowledgeable than me. All right, yeah, I'm, 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 that's what I, I'm, I I Listen, if you say, I don't know, fine, I ain't gonna hold you to it. Get Mansour, and I'll chat with Mansour. You've already had a chat with Mansour. Not about this. Really? No, I had a chat with Mansour about different manuscripts. You know what? Let's bring, let's bring, let's bring Mansour. You know what? I'll bring Mansour later. Okay? okay. All I'm telling well, you is this Usman okay. did not standardize 114 surahs. That's absolutely incorrect. He standardized one region of the Quran. Right, right, okay. That's it. <laughs> okay, the Uthmanic copy was 114 surahs. Yes, it was. The Ubayyam and Kab copy was 116 surahs. I've already. No. I've no, already you've said, already agreed, Chris, man. Chris, I've already yeah. told you it's mm. possible that Ubayyam and Kab did have 116 surahs. That sounds like you're saying yes. 
I'm saying it's possible. That's a funny way of saying okay, this. Okay, fine. Let's say for the sake of argument, yes, he did. Okay, great. But, That's what's recorded but, in your hadith. But yeah. the Quran mm -hmm. that we have, we go by the Usmanic. Yes, because Uthman said, actually, no, it's not 116, it's 140. No, the Prophet said, no. These are, okay, do you know how the, okay, the Prophet he was recited, uh, it was recited to the Prophet by Angel Jibra'il. Yeah, that's the what your tradition said, in the Hira Cave. Right. The Prophet uh, Sallam, Not all of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, not in the Hira Cave, not in the Hira Cave. The yeah, Prophet yeah, Sallam yeah. then, then authorized the Sahaba, the companions, look, these verses have been abrogated, these stories have been abrogated. Okay, right? yeah, I, I think so they probably possible. done in his life. So it's possible yeah. at the time of the Prophet right. Sallam, Ubay bin Ka'ab did, did have surahs right. that he memorized, right. that has been abrogated right. by the Prophet But he didn't think so. Show me. The Ubay, show me, show me, show me. Ubay ibn Ka'ab disagreed no, in your hadith. No, no. Ubay ibn Ka'ab yeah. was, was scared of the Mate, mispronunciation. Why, why would someone have, why would someone have a, a complete Quran that is different from the one that Abu Bakr makes? It's, it's actually, academically speaking, it is, it is an academic fact that the Quran was preserved. No, no one, no one believes that. Only you Muslims will. No, 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 no. Not, academia, not I can, academia doesn't even go to uh, go to the Quran for any information about Jesus. Doesn't go for any information about historical context. What I'm saying is, is that your faith you, is completely on faith, blind faith. No, it's not. No scholars. I've already, I've already clarified to you yeah. that it's possible that Ubay bin Ka'ab did have only 16 scholars. No problem. It sounds like you're agreeing no, with me. I'm saying, okay. no, no, but you're not getting the point, which is. Yeah. It's possible that Ubay bin Ka'ab did memorize surahs that has been abrogated, no problem. But who authorized the abrogation? Was it, was it well, Usman? You were, you're was it Usman? Was it Usman? You're going to say it's Muhammad earlier, and I'm going to say Ubay bin Ka'ab had 116 surahs in his codex. Well, I guess he was very confused then. I guess he was very confused. You don't get the process. <laughs> okay. You see, what you're doing is, right. you're saying, Usman, this is what he's saying. He's saying Usman Radul Anhu, he yeah. standardized 114 surahs. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He did standardize 114 surahs. All by Ibn Kaab, 116 surahs. One surahs. region of the Quran, which is In the Quraysh, dial, Which is the Hafs. The Hafs Quran like comes from Kufa. It, it, Kufa is, is the origin of the Hafs Quran. The idea is that Uthman sent his codec, uh, codex is to Kufa. Uh, is, is Kufa part, is Kufa in the, in the Saudi Arabia? Right? No. Okay. No, That's Kufa is in Iraq. But it's not in the Hijaz, the, the, is it? Uh, the, I think it, uh, it might be Walsh, it might be others, but there are actually some that do go back to the Hijaz. Hijaz. But it's not in Hijaz, is it? No, it's not. No. Okay, that's what Hudayfa was scared about. What? That's what he was scared about. Okay. He was scared, he was scared about... There were different... Uh, brother, okay. brother, brother, <laughs> brother could, you, could you come in for a second? This brother is saying... <laughs> I asked him to chat earlier. I, I asked, I asked to chat him earlier, and he was like, no. This brother is more knowledgeable than me. Shall we end it here? Because I, I don't think we're going to... Chris is saying... You can find... Um, find... Uh, what's his name? Thank you very much. No. He admitted there's 100, 116 in the way of Ibn Kaab. In the Croatia dialect. No, not half. Sorry. So why they are not breastfeeding and so uh, Yeah, exactly. They, they, they're... A, yeah, well, well, to be honest, mate, I think I'd rather talk with Hashim okay. uh, or, uh, or, or Mansour at this point. This. Listen, I think you've kind of agreed with me in a roundabout no, way because no, no, you said that Ubayim had 116 verses and that the Uthmanic was uh, codicized 114. You've agreed with me. It's come perfectly preserved. Chris, I just told you. I just told you. That well, I don't quite get what you've told me. You sort of. Right. It's possible he may memorize certain sources that has been abrogated. Sounds like yes. Okay. Is that yes or no? Like, tell me. Uh, yes, he did. Okay, great, great. Okay, <laughs> Ubay ibn Kaab had 116 surahs in his codex. Uthman standardized the Quran in 652 after Muhammad died with 114 surahs. Who was right? And then I asked you who authorized the 100. Who, no, no, who authorized was the right abrogation? I don't know because Ubay ibn Kaab didn't believe that was the case. It's possible Ubay ibn Kaab it's, did. Yeah, but uh, it's possible, mate. Point. My point is, is you can't say something's perfectly preserved if you don't know. Chris, Chris, yeah. Chris mm. are you seriously telling me that the Sahaba did not memorize abrogated surahs and verses? I'm not saying that. Listen, what, what I'm saying, saying to you is Ubay ibn Kaab thought differently no, than what, what you I'm, think now. I'm saying Ubay ibn Kaab yeah. did not object. He, he did object. object. No, he didn't. What? He had a, me, Okay, he had his own Quran with 116 surahs. Yeah. No, not on Quran. His own codex of the Quran with That's 116. Been by the Prophet Why was That's he? Why was, why was he using codex. it in in uh, either uh, either Monday? Uh, well, it's now Monday Iraq or or Damascus. Why was he using it? I, it might have been Iraq, I think. What, after why was the Prophet's death? Yes. Can you show me? That's the whole verse no, I just told you. No, it's not. 
he is speaking about Hudayfa, the, the hadith of Hudayfa. No. He doesn't mention that. Okay. He doesn't let's, mention about. He doesn't mention about. We keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, no, right? No, you, you, you are not willing to accept that the standardization. <laughs> I don't think you're willing no, to accept no, that no, they had two not, different Qurans, mate. Chris, yeah. You are not willing to accept that the standardization of the Quran by Usman Rada Anhu is not about. Why does your Quran need to be even standardized? How do you say so? Yeah, it says that, it says that they uh, argued about it. Standardized about what? The content? Different the... readings. Right, so he standardized A one reading one, is when... He standardized one reading. Yes, the, and, then, the and then he destroyed all the others. Does that mean the Quran has changed? Yes, because he destroyed yes, all the others. Because the Rasul ﷺ said no. Rasul right. ﷺ... Okay, let me, let me can I give you an example, because it would really help. If, if, I, if I said to him, hey guy, I don't know if you're a Christian or whatever, I, yeah, the Bible, right? We, we all disagreed about it right at the beginning, but it's okay, because then a Pope came in, he, he standardized it, told us exactly what was right, what was wrong, and then he burnt all the others. Does, does that, that sound... Does and it's perfectly preserved. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He does, would say, what? Hang on, does burning necessarily <laughs> mean that it's lost? That no, is corrupted? What was the reason of... Come on. It means no, it's destroyed. It come on, come on. says destroy it. What was the reason of burning the Quran? Why would you burn Quran? You burn Quran? It, it says Quranic manuscript. Yeah. Ma Quranic materials. Burn, is the, was wait, he, hang on, hang on, hang on. Burning does not necessarily mean that it's lost. No, no. What First was the all, reason for burning? So that there's no confusion. Right, right by destroying it. Why, why was the confusion to there? To who? Why was the confusion to of who? the people? To who? No, no. Why was the confusion? To who? To was, it, was it confused for the people of Hijaz or for the, for the people of people? No, Kufa? what was the reason behind burning? Uthman burned the Quran. What was the reason? Because there was a fear that the Kufas, that the, there was a fear that there could be high, that Kufas would die. What? So what? there's a fear. So what he did, he then standardized. That's so, it. so why do you need to burn the Quran for that? If the Quran is there, what you're, you're not getting the point, are you? Wait, no, just, no, just many point. copies. Wait, wait. Does Kufa mean the, the memorizer of the Quran? Quran? Sorry. Does Kufa mean the memorizer of the Quran? Is that what it means? Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no. Yeah, yeah, we'll correct. Uh, yeah, okay. correct. Is it correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a word. Quran, 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 Quran or something. The, the memorizers of the Quran. Those who. Yeah, Fires, oh, sorry, sorry. Not is that what, not what you're talking about or what you're talking about? No, what, what I'm saying to you, right. what I'm saying to you is that there was a fear yeah. that the memorizers Ah, okay. Would, would, right, that, but that was before. That was in Abu Bakr's time. That, well, Abu Bakr was still around. But that, that, was, uh, that was in 634 when Abu Bakr compiled the first copy. Right, that's, we're not talking about it. We're talking 20 years later. They were still arguing about it. Yes, that's exactly what I just read. Okay, what? okay, what listen, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to give the reference and whoever's watching this can, can read it themselves and make their own mind up. Does that sound fair? And then we can conclude it. Is that alright? Well, I've not chatted with him, but I'll be happy to chat with him. Not about this topic. I learned about this literally weeks ago. We talked about the differences of manuscripts. Do you sign a manuscript? I, I talked with him about that. Do you remember that? That's the only time I've talked to him about it. And it was not about this. Anyway. Let me just give the reference. This is Sahih al Bukhari 4987. And it clearly says here this is the time when Uthman is given the command to collect all the different materials and to standardize the Quran. And then he burns the ones that he did not include. Let your own camera readers. Sta standardize. What does standardize mean here? You don't even know. You don't even know. My friend, my friend, so let's think about that. Yeah, because we're going back and forth. What standardize. What does standardize <laughs> Until mean? I go to the, I've already explained. Oh, if you, yeah. no, no, it's like as though you know, so you tell me what Okay, okay. Means. What they're saying is there are different readings, yes? No, they come different from different materials, yes? Like oh. Ubayim and Kab, like Abdullah, Ilim and Musab. See, I give him. Come on. Ask him what was the reason. What, what, what okay, did he destroy? Right, what did he right. destroy? Originally, yeah. the Arabic language right. Right, had no dots. Yes, I know. No, no no, kisses, yes, it was no very kisses, early. No yes, I, I, I totally get it. Yeah. So when they were reading it in places like Iran, in places exactly. like Pakistan, all of those could places, be right. they, they were reciting it wrong. Exactly. Right, so yeah. they were saying different things. No, they were reciting it wrong. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> The, the reason why, uh, yeah, all right, we'll leave it there. Because we're not going to. Anyway, should we shake hands and just call yeah, it? Yeah, sure. All right. sure. But yeah, we'll speak the Bible next time. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't think that's mine. Anyway, take care. What about that, Chris? Cool. So, I had uh, a debate with a Muslim who was arguing that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, that no letter has changed, no word has changed, no dot has changed. It has all been perfectly preserved right from the time of Muhammad. Now, we know that's not true. And we know it's not true because the early Shahaba, the early companions of Muhammad, Ubay ibn Kab and Abdullah ibn Masud, they disagreed with it. They had different verses of the Quran. And so for that reason, 
it's, it's clear as day that they cannot hold to the claim that the crime was properly preserved. It wasn't. It's as simple as that. Quite a simple argument, but it's still something that Muslims reject. They don't understand. They go back in circles. But Uthman burnt the Quran. This is not the religion of Muhammad. It's the religion of Uthman. Uthman standardized their Quran. Uthman is responsible for Islam. Thank you. God bless. Thank you.